Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, it's going to be me and Lee. Good morning, Lee. How are you doing today? If you're doing very well, run in a circle very, very, very quickly. Woo! 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 And I'm doing good as well, so I need to do the same. Woo! Woo! That's how you need to start every day. If ever you're feeling good in the morning, you need to run into a circle very quickly. Actually, no, don't do that. That sounds quite dangerous as well. <laughs> Especially if you're all tired and dreary after sleeping. Oh, no, Lee's got himself dizzy. Lee's got himself dizzy. Oh, don't be clumsy. Oh, no. Careful of the balcony, Lee. Right, slow down. Slow down. Have a sit down, Lee. Tell you what, let's have a sit down and let's have some breakfast and let's try and calm down a little bit, shall we? It's time for our cake. The, uh, the best breakfast that you could ever have. Nom 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 There we go, a whole cake down. I just about managed to, to fit that last slice in. <laughs> oh dear, we got a really fun video for you today actually. Uh, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to start off by finishing the, uh, the restaurant we were building in the last video. And uh, then we're going to be going over and playing a new mini game uh, to decide who is going to be the employee of the month uh, over at the, uh, the Soggy Sandwich. But first... Uh, time for Stampy's Love Garden. And uh, today um, we are adding... Actually, uh, first I need to point out, uh, last week I added Emily uh, because of an animation she made. Uh, but she actually made it with her sister as well. And uh, so I wanted to add Emily and Eliza because they made it together. Uh, so sorry, Eliza, that I didn't add you last week. Uh, but you are now in the uh, the Love Garden and welcome to it. Uh, but I'm also uh, adding Michelle Gast. And uh, that's because she has sent me loads, and I mean loads of drawings, and there's some of them uh, popping up on your, your screen right now, and uh, I don't add people because of the quantity of uh, messages and things they send me, uh, it's always about the quality, uh, but Michelle Garst has sent me a mixture of both quality and quantity, and she sends me a picture pretty much every single day, and I always love seeing them, I always uh, make sure I'm going through my Facebooks just to see what, uh, what her new picture's gonna be, and so yeah, thank you so much Michelle for all of your drawings, and welcome to my love garden. Anyway, let's go, let's Let's go and finish off the uh, the soggy sandwich then, shall we? If you didn't see my last video, uh, it's basically a restaurant uh, that we've built out over the uh, the water, and uh, we got most of it done in the uh, the last video with the help of Lee and my uh, Stampy Cat clone. So <laughs> that was good fun. Uh, but yeah, I haven't actually seen my clone again, by the way. They went and uh, wandered off somewhere, so hopefully uh, he's going to show up as well at uh, some point. Uh, but let's pick a dog, shall we? Let's take Duncan. Here's Duncan down here, and of course, if I'm taking Duncan, you know what that means. I'm of course also going to be taking my kitty cat. I'm going to be taking mittens with me, and I've not actually uh, took mittens with me in uh, quite a while, so I'm looking forward to this. Mitt Mittens! Mittens, are you ready for an adventure? Oh, Mittens isn't on her chest. She's normally sitting down on the chest. I think I heard her. Oh no, where is she? Where is she? Is Mittens playing hide and seek? Oh, here she is. Oh, Lee, don't look, don't look. She's doing her um, she's doing her business. She's on the uh, on the, in the litter tray. Tell you what, come and join us whenever you're ready, Mittens. You can come join us. You can just finish up down there, and uh, we're gonna go and start building without you. And this got a little bit more dangerous, actually, didn't it? We used to always dive in the water. I don't know if that's a, a good idea anymore. Oh, Lee's Lee's got no fear. He dived in already. Oh look, he swam underneath. Right, let's give that a go. That looks like good fun. Whoop! Then you've got to go and swim underneath and up the other side. Jolly good fun. And where's Duncan? and Mittens. Have they joined us? Oh, there's Duncan down there. And there's Mittens. They can finally be reunited and go and uh, start playing with each other. Anyway, while they're doing that, while they're playing around and having fun, uh, let's go and uh, get building. So, uh, yeah, this is basically going to be my sandwich restaurant. And uh, in the middle here, where Duncan and Mittens are diving around, uh, is where we're going to be making all of the, the sandwiches. So let's do that bit first. Uh, if I put a crafting table down there, uh, if I make a, a couple chests and a couple furnaces, I can put the, I put the chest there, and and then the furnaces here. And so then we can put all the, the sandwiches in the chest. And then we can use the other uh, furnaces to make toasty sandwiches as well. Which will be nice. <laughs> and then the first thing I need to do is build a, uh, a marquee. Uh, Lee's uh, building up some pillars here. And uh, he's going to be building a, uh, a cover as well. Uh, just for the uh, the path on the on the way in. So uh, I've got some, some red and pink wool. Uh, I think they're going to be the colours we're going to use. To make it look like a, a nice romantic restaurant. So if I make a, a whole load of these uh, never brick fences. And if I go and nerd pole my way up here and uh, yeah if I get to a good height I can go and start building the uh, the marquee the plan is uh, to get this completely finished by the time it's night and uh, then that way uh, Duncan and Mittens can have a nice romantic meal together in the in the uh, in the moonlight the idea is that the restaurant's gonna look way nicer at night uh, just because we're gonna have torches everywhere uh, kind of as if there's like uh, candles on the tables uh, so the whole place is gonna be really lit up at night and uh, hopefully just been out here on the on the water it's just gonna be a, a really nice place to go down and enjoy a, a nice 
romantic sandwich with one of your best friends. <laughs> and so this is just going to alternate between a red and pink wall as we do pink wall at the bottom, then red here. And as you can see, Lee's there kind of doing the uh, the same down there on that side. So if I go and fill in like, actually, oh no, I don't need to fill that bit in there. If I go and uh, get rid of that, uh, it just needs to be one outer ring of red and then it's going to go higher in the middle and be pink again. So if I just do that there for now and then just fill this in and then go get rid of these uh, loose random bits. And then yeah, this should be my, my marquee done. Look at this record time I'm building this in. If I go and hop down here and I get rid of this uh, horrible pile of dirt and uh, then if I go and fill in the uh, the rest of the fences as well and uh, then I'm going to go over and uh, help Lee uh, doing the, uh, the little entrance bit. And then once I've gone and put down all the tables and stuff, actually what I might do... I might go and do this along here. Oh uh, yeah, well as I say, once I've done the uh, the tables and stuff, uh, that should be the uh, the soggy sandwich complete. And then me and Lee can have our, our little competition in my uh, soggy sandwich mini game, uh, just to see who the uh, the employee of the uh, of the month's gonna be. And I think this looks quite nice. Once I've placed this, let me go uh, back a little bit and see what it looks like from the uh, from the outside. I like this. I think this looks really cool actually. All right, let's go and uh, help Lee. He seems to be struggling. <laughs> Lee's not quite tall enough. He's having to to jump and place every single one individually like that. <laughs> I might actually do, um, do fences all along the, the inside as well, because I think that, that looked uh, pretty nice. I didn't plan to do that. If I do this along here, uh, I think I might just about run out though, but hopefully uh, Lee's got some on him as well, so uh, he might be able to, to place some down as well in a minute. And uh, I think this is uh, pretty much done, so all I need to do now is uh, go and uh, put down some tables and chairs. And I think for the chairs I'm going to use uh, my favourite wood, which is of course, everybody say it, spruce wood is the, uh, <laughs> the type of wood I'm going to use for the chairs, just to make it look uh, a little bit different. And then I'm going to do my my standard uh, way of doing the tables which is using uh, fence poles and then I'm going to use some some stone pressure plates on the top as well uh, so yeah they're going to make my my nice little tables and chairs so if I go and plonk down chair there and a chair there uh, chair there and chair there. Didn't mean to make that rhyme. Chair there, chair there. <laughs> then put down a table in the middle like this so people can uh, sit down on these tables and chairs and uh, admire the uh, the nice view of my rocket ship in the background. How many restaurants have you gone to in your life and your view is a massive rocket ship? <laughs> Which kind of looks a little bit like a carrot. <laughs> and uh, down here, this can be the, the head table, I think. If we have this one uh, slightly bigger... And uh, this is where Duncan and Mittens can enjoy their meal a little bit later on. They can enjoy their, their sandwiches. And uh, it looks like Lee's... I think if we do this side the same as I did the other side, Lee. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, a chair there and a ch chair there, a chair there. <laughs> a chair there and a chair there. And then I'm going to put down the uh, the tables in the uh, in the middle down here. Oh, no, I missed it again. If I go and get rid of that. And then go do the, uh, the same on this side here. And uh, yeah, then we can go and put down a, a whole load of torches all over the place. Uh, just so it can be nicely lit up. I think we've done this in record time. Uh, the plan was... Uh, or just to get this done before it's night, then they can have the uh, the, the uh, nice romantic meal. I think we've done it uh, even uh, quicker than that. And uh, so I think the last thing to do is maybe just to, to do a path to link it all up. So uh, you two can go and just sit down here for now and uh, uh, enjoy some time together. And uh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do a, a path uh, just to make it all link up here. As if I just do some some steps. I think I'm going to use oak wood uh, rather than spruce just so it fits in with the uh, the rest of the path and stuff. So if I go and make a, a whole load of uh, oak stairs, uh, this should be uh, more than enough than what I need. And I got some planks as well just so it can link up to the path. And then the plan is I can have loads of stuff over the water there's loads of like wasted room uh, all over the water here so i can build uh, a whole load of things uh, all around the place here so if i do some uh, some little staircases along here and then if i do this like here it will go and uh, link up with the the main path and uh, so yeah you can just go and walk straight down here and into the the soggy sandwich i love this place i think this place looks really cool let's just go and put torches everywhere then Lee. anywhere where you think would be a good place for a torch uh, let's go place one if i just alternate the whole way along here and just so once it becomes night this whole place will be uh, completely lit up and look amazing so if i just go uh, the whole way along like this and then that lines up nicely and along to there and to there there we go that fits in absolutely perfectly as well that was quite lucky i hadn't, I hadn't worked that out before. We're going to put a torch there and a torch there. There we go. Then this whole bit uh, along here is going to be lit up. And there's one thing we're missing. Do you know what we're missing? We're trying to build a sandwich restaurant here and there's one thing we're missing. What are we missing? The food! You're right, Lee. We're missing the sandwiches. I've not made any sandwiches yet. <laughs> let's go into the chest then and let's show you how to make a sandwich. You obviously need uh, bread along the uh, the top and the bottom and then we can have a, a whole load of uh, different fillings and uh... oh, there we go. Lee's, Lee's got some cookies. There's, there's some cookie sandwiches. <laughs> 
one of my favourites. If we just fill this whole thing in with bread like this then, then we can go and put a whole load of different fillings in. I got some, I got some fish sandwiches. We'll have some fish sandwiches. I got some chicken sandwiches as well. We can go and fit some of them in. I might need to, to go get some, some more bread as well actually, just so we can, we can make some more stuff. What else could you put in a sandwich? We can get some melons. Is that a mushroom stew sandwich? Who wants a mushroom stew sandwich? That sounds delightful, doesn't it? And then we need to do bread along the, uh, along here. And uh, along the bottom as well. Let's go over to my wheat farm quickly. And uh, oh, let's go. Oh, I think I missed a torch here. Yeah, let's go get some some more wheat. And then we can literally fill the entire thing full of full of sandwiches. So uh, we can have it filled up. And the sun is just about to go down as well. So uh, once it becomes night, we can see it all lit up. And yeah, then go and head over to play the uh, the soggy sandwich mini game. And uh, I'll explain how that works when we get over to it. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Me and Lee had a little practice go uh, just to see if the game works. And it was really good fun. And it was really close as well. So uh, it should definitely be a, a good fun way to just who the the employee of the month at the uh, the soggy sandwich is going to be <laughs> right so let's just go and gather up all of this wheat and i go and plant some more as well and i could get some more food as well i could have a pumpkin sandwich uh, i think a, a cactus sandwich wouldn't be a good idea tell you what let's get some cactus anyway and we can pretend it's a, a prickly pear so we can have a, a prickly pear sandwich uh, let's go get a pumpkin so we can have a pumpkin sandwich and uh, some melon as well i should probably go over to my melon moments fruit stand to be honest might have been a an easier way to do it but this will do for now and uh, let's go and head over quickly because it is a uh, just beginning to, to get dark and look at it I quite like the look of it it, it looks quite nice I think it uh, fits in with my my lovely world quite uh, nicely and you see what I mean about it uh, all being uh, nicely lit up as well it's all kind of uh, glowing as you as you're gonna walk down here and so let's go and change uh, all of this um uh, all of this wheat into to bread then shall we if we go along to here there we go I've got loads more bread for all of my sandwiches and so I can just go and fill this uh, entire chest and look there's a, a cake in there as well we can have a cake sandwich <laughs> I think that I think that's one that that Lee put in here for me right I can't quite fill it in but it's, it's pretty much filled in and then let's go and have a, a pumpkin sandwich and a prickly pear sandwich and um, we can have our melon sandwich here as well and uh, if I go and move is that an arrow sandwich did you put an arrow sandwich in you're just getting ridiculous now let's have a, a flower sandwich as well <laughs> there we go we've got a whole massive big variety of sandwiches down there and it's time for your meal now guys if you want to if you want guys want to stand up uh, you can go at the uh, the back here and have the special um the special seat and look at that view look at that view over the water that is beautiful so duncan uh, you can come and sit down here on this side and uh, mittens are you going to join us or are you just going to stand over there what's Lee doing? Lee's there just hiding in the distance come on mittens come join us right i might have to make mittens sit down and slide her she's she's quite shy she's not good in these romantic situations come on come join us mittens nope she wants to sit on the chest i think she can smell where all of the uh, the sandwiches are are, and uh, she just wants to, to sit on the sandwich chest. And oh, look at Lee. Lee's dressed up all smart. I think Lee's going to be their, their waiter, I think. Can you help me get Mittens over to the seat, Lee? She is not. <laughs> Every time I try to get her to move. Oh, poor Duncan having to sit there and Mittens won't join him. Come on, Mittens. Come on. Come on, Mittens. <laughs> there we go. I finally got her away from the chest. Let's go and slide her over. Trust me, Mittens. You're going to love it. We're going to get you a, a nice fish sandwich. Let me go and just make her go and sit down over here. <laughs> it's funny the way that you've got to slide your animals around. She's not very well trained yet. There we go. Oh, this is nice. We've got Duncan's and Mittens sitting down together. What a lovely sight. Mittens, if you want to get down into your seat there. And let's go get them some sandwiches then, Lee. Do you want to go Do you want to go get Duncan a nice chicken sandwich? He likes chicken. And you can get Mittens a, a fish sandwich as well. And uh, I might go for one of the uh, the little cake sandwiches as well. If you want to give me a, a cake sandwich on the counter as well, uh, then I can have that as well in a, in a little bit. Oh, this is a nice romantic meal, isn't it? It. <laughs> it's just so cute just seeing them just sitting there next to each other down there on the on the table there's and there's the waiter are you going to throw them to me then i'll go and take them over to the seat shall we okay so there's uh there's my my cake sandwich uh i got some fish here and some chicken as well for uh for duncan and mitten so there you go duncan there's your your fish sandwich there and uh, there's oh no i did it the wrong way around uh there's there's chicken for you and uh mittens you can go and have a, a nice fish so i guess if we leave them there to go and eat up their food lee and then, then we can go and head over to the uh, the mini game and uh, we can go and see who the employee of the month is going to be so uh, i build it over in this direction i'm actually kind of uh, running out of a uh, room around here to to build these little mini games but uh, yeah i've built it over at where i built the uh, the flap frenzy mini game so uh, it's not too far if we just go and uh, head down here and oh, wait a minute. What's this? You got mail. I've got a letter. Someone's gone and sent me a letter. Oh, this is always so exciting. Who, who sent me a letter now? Who's this going to be from? Oh, dear Stampy. Thank you for creating me. 
I am off to find my own lovely world. I will hopefully see you soon. Much love. Stampy Cat Clone. <gasps> Stampy Cat Clone sent me a letter. Oh, yeah. At least he hasn't forgot about me. <laughs> In the last episode, I cloned myself and had Stampy Cat Clone helping me build. Then he just wandered off in a boat. So I guess he's still thinking about me and he's going to go and make his own lovely world. Oh, that's that's nice. It's nice that he's thinking of me. I'm going to have to send him a, a letter back sometime. Anyway, this is the um, this is the, the, the soggy sandwich mini game. And uh, the way it works is that me and Lee are going to be standing uh, in these little areas here and we need to fire arrows over this glass wall so they hit uh, these uh, targets here and you can see there's bread steak pork chops and more bread as well kind of as if it's a, a sandwich and once we break them they fall in the water then they get carried by the water to both our sides and half of them are going to go to Lee's side and uh, half of them are, are going to go to my side and it's going to be the first person to make three sandwiches wins and uh, so we have these boards here I got a cheese sandwich and he's got a, a spinach sandwich I think that is and so you need to do the bread along the top and the uh, bottom and then in the middle you've got to do different fillings and it can be either pork chops or steak so it's the first person to make three wins or uh, if we run out of uh, ingredients and uh, neither of us have won it's going to be whoever's made the uh, the most sandwiches wins so it's pretty simple I probably made it sound more complicated than it is uh, so I've got my my bow on me here ready and so yeah we can see who the employee of the mum's going to be I'm going to have a quick slice of cake and then we can begin in three two one go right so we need to try and fire the arrows like that so they fire over the glass and hit the targets. But the thing is, it doesn't actually matter who's more accurate. Because once they fall in the water, half go to my side and half goes to Lee's side. So it doesn't actually matter who knocked the item frame in. Because half go to, to either side anyway. So um, let me just make sure I've not got... Yeah, I've not got any steak or bread or anything on me anyway. So I'm not going to be cheating. And have I got anything? Here we go. I got some some pork chop heading my way. The hardest thing is always the, uh, the bread. Uh, because you need uh, twice as much bread as uh, the others. Uh, so that's all always the the hardest thing to get so let me see if I can uh, get some of the the bread off uh, bread off the top row they should be some of the the easiest ones to get and here we go I got my my first pork chop oh no no Lee's got two pieces of bread already oh no he's doing better than me right let's go and try and get some more of this bread in shall we unfortunately it doesn't always uh, land in the in the water some of it uh, lands on the the land all over the place which is why you don't always have enough time and oh, no, did that bread fall in I think it did I think I looked like it got stuck but I think it did eventually fall in all right let's go for some rapid fire then shall we uh, luckily Luckily my bow's got infinity on it and so I have pretty much endless arrows so I can just fire them like crazy and hopefully get some. And here we go, I managed to, to get some bread. I've almost got my first sandwich. If I get one more piece of bread, I'll be able to get my first sandwich. I got the fillings and Lee's got the bread but we kind of need to, to combine in order to actually make the uh, the sandwiches. <laughs> right, let's go and try and get some more of the, the steaks. I do still need uh, two more filling. And uh, there are still uh, quite a lot of bread at the bottom. It's just really hard to hit the ones on the bottom row. I think I'm doing them a little bit too weak. Uh, I can't really get around the, the side here. There we go. I think I managed to hit one more bit of bread. And oh no, I don't think it fell in the water. I think it got stuck on the, the side down there. There we go. I managed to hit some bread there, I believe. And I hit something else down there. What have I got coming? I've got some steak and some bread. There we go. I've got two more pieces of bread. I put down that bread there. There we go. I've got a pork chop sandwich. And uh, there's almost uh, a steak sandwich there as well. I'm winning. Lee hasn't got any fillings yet. If I get one more piece of bread, then that's going to be two completely like finished sandwich on my side. It's looking good for me. It's looking good for me. I might be able to be the employee of the month. I didn't look as smart as Lee when he dressed up, but I, I could still be employee of the month. And there we go. I hit some more bread, but I don't think it landed in the water. You can see a load of it all just sort of lying around the place, but not being in yet. All right, let me try and hit that one down in the, the bottom right hand corner if I can. I think I'm still doing it a little bit too weak. I do a little bit harder. No, that's not the right place. The problem is you've got to look up to aim and then you can't actually see where the arrows are going. And so it's kind of hard to, to adjust your aim. Like you can see all of my big massive of uh, massive arrows down there. And at least still not got any fillings yet. Normally the, the fillings is the easy bit and the bread's the hard bit. There we go. I just managed to, to hit another bit of bread in. Hopefully that's going to come to my side and I'm going to be able to fill in that, that sandwich there. Which side's it going to? Oh, I can't I can't see it on my side. Oh no, I think it's gone to Lee. I think Lee's about to get a, another piece of bread, which means he only needs the fillings. That's not good. All right, let's go and try and get that one down in that bottom right hand corner, shall we? If I just keep firing like this, I've got to eventually get it. There we go. I managed to get the bread and I think it did land in the water. Uh, did Lee get the other bread? 
I'm not sure if he did. It didn't come down on my side. Hopefully it's going to come down here. And then there's only a few more things left. And oh no, look, there's my arrows just broken. I've got I've got a, uh, a spare bow down here and some, some more arrows. So uh, I'll be able to, to go and carry on the game. And oh no, the bread didn't come on my side. I think it might have gone down there to Lee's side. There's one more bit of bread down in the, the bottom left down there. And there we go. I managed to hit it straight away. And there's a few more fillings as well. There's a there's a pork chop there, which I'm very nearly hitting, uh, but I'm just going a bit too high, I think, at the moment. I'm either going too high or too low. I just need to, to get it just right in the in the middle. And did that bread come to my side? Oh, no, I don't think it did. I think that must have gone to, to Lee's side as well. This is quite close, actually. I need one more piece of bread, and I'm going to get two sandwiches. And there's only one more thing left on the board. And here we go. I got another piece of bread as well. There we go. I managed to get two sandwiches. I got two sandwiches complete, uh, which is, I think, better than Lee because Lee's still not got any fillings and that's it that's everything shot as well and uh, there's nothing in the water so once Lee's placed his final things uh, we can count it up and see who's won oh no oh there we go he's got one sandwich and uh, I was able to get two sandwich and that was it which means I am going to be the employee of the month <laughs> oh, that's such a silly little fun game but I did enjoy it though so that means I am now the employee of the month of the soggy sandwich and as soon as I am the uh, the employee of the month I think it's uh, it's only right if I do go and uh, head back just to make sure that my my two customers are doing okay and I look at the zombie dancing around on the cake <laughs> I'll leave him to it all right let's go and check on uh, Duncan and Mittens and make sure that they're they're enjoying their meal they've spent the whole night there together so uh, they must have uh, must have enjoyed it somewhat uh, well, well let's see if they they've decided to, to stick around shall we uh, let's take out some of the the googlies on our way though first get a few more shots on him and there we go and uh, let's go and see how my how my two little loving couple are doing down there. Oh, they're so cute, still just sitting down there together. And look, they've eaten up all of their sandwiches. There's no sandwiches left. Did you enjoy your meal? I think they did. I think they did. <laughs> anyway, we've just about run out of time in this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing us uh, finishing off building the uh, the Sookie sandwich. I certainly had good fun. And whoa, hello, Lee. I think Lee just enderpearled right the way to me. Where did he end up? Lee, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's down there in the water. Hi, Lee. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, there'll be a link in the description to the, uh, the next part of this uh, Let's Play uh, once I've uploaded it. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!